Hi everyone, it's Connor here, and this is Top 10 Interesting Facts about the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. This is Millie, she is 5 years old, and she is a Staffordshire Bull Terrier cross, I believe. We don't know exactly what you cross, do we, baby? We don't, do we? No, we don't, no, we don't, no, we don't. And she's going to be helping him out with some of the facts today. Because nobody knows Staffies better than an actual Staffy. So, yeah. The first fact is that, like I've just mentioned before, the name Staffy. Staffy is basically short uh, for the full name of Staffordshire Bull Terrier. They, uh, it's obviously a lot easier to uh, say than just um, the regular full name. So that's the first fact. Short nicknames of Staffies. They can live uh, to 12 to 14 years, so I've got her for another good 10 years. Oh, I'm not, I'm not gonna be, I've got you for another 10 years. So I'm looking forward for the rest of the years uh, with this little one. I love that piece of stuff, don't I? Yes, I do. But yeah, that's fact two. Fact number three is Staffies aren't really scared of much. Um, Millie herself, you're scared of thunder, aren't you, baby? Yes, she is. She's terrified of thunder. But hoovers, stuff like that, uh, doesn't really uh, startle them. Um, yeah. Like other smaller breeds or medium-sized dogs. But um, knocks at the door, anything like that. Nothing really scares them if something falls over, if you accidentally knock something over. Um, Staffies are be calm most of the time. So they are quite... They're not very timid, are you? You're very, very brave, aren't you, really? Apart from them thunder. Just looking at the kitten. The kitten's playing with that under the door. Fact number four is they're quite muscly, um, so that makes them obviously quite strong. Obviously they're a quite short and stocky dog, so um, they're not really much of a threat to anyone, or they, they can accidentally hurt you um, playing with them, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not anything to be concerned about. Um, I would definitely keep an eye on them around kids. They are nicknamed the, um, the nanny dog, so there's another fact for you, a little free fact that just slid in right there. Mm -hmm. Yep, but um, they're called nanny dogs because often people trust them around their children, which I do personally with Millie. However, obviously they've got some the quite strong dogs, and if anything accidents do occur, just be there to watch. But anything apart from that, <clears throat> I'm very sorry about that. They are fine. They're perfectly fine. Millie's just off in the wonder right now. We have switched sides because Millie <laughs> can't sit still, can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Um, this is fact number five, and fact number five is they are extremely loyal dogs. Um, Millie's always like, ah, I consider myself the alpha of Millie, and Millie respects my authority, don't you? No, you don't, do you? You don't. But no, they are actually excellent dogs. Um, they are very friendly to people. Um, I would always have them on leashes just in case anyone else has them off dog, um, off, off dogs. Their dogs off leashes, um, just in case their dog isn't properly trained. Um, with the right training, Staffies can make amazing pets. Um, yeah, but the loyalty is like nothing comes close with it. Um, Millie's loyalty to me, especially I've seen you know, over the five years I've had her. Um, it's been amazing. She always follows me, she always listens to me. Um, even when I'm in my mood, she comes over and and make sure I'm alright, and that's what I'd love is, really, so... Very thankful for that. So, yeah, fact number five is they are loyal. Fact number six is Staffies have a sad history. Obviously, this isn't the amazing news, but over the years, hundreds of years have went on by, and now they are, like, recognised as one of the most loving pets you can have. They don't have... They do have the fighter spirit, but they don't have the aggression. Fighter spirit, as in... Um, basically, they will fight for you for with their lives. If it came down to that, if someone was hurting you, they would. You can pretty sure be safe with a staffy by your side. But by any means, they will, with correct training, will not attack anyone unprovoked or anything like that. Or I trust me with children, anything really. And she's always good as gold. She's never ever had a biting accident or whatever you call it it's just all about the owners what kind of owner you are yourself there's obviously a few bad eggs 
out there who do have staffies um, who don't exactly, well, let's just say they give them the bad name. Um, these are more likely chavs where I come from. Um, a lot of chavs have staffies. Um, most of the staffies are cool. Um, I definitely recommend getting one if you have the patience and time to sit down when it's a puppy and tr train it correctly and raise it properly with love and care and and with firm discipline but not too firm like you know what I mean just a little little uh, guide steps just to make sure that your dog turns out fine and stuff is to be amazing fact number seven is they are extremely resilient they hardly ever get ill or poorly the only things you really have to look out for is obviously a few common alle allergies here and there but apart from that the health of a staffy or staffship or terrier is quite good they're a quite good breed uh, make sure that they're always healthy and that but always make sure if anything else comes out out of the blue definitely give your vet a call or go in and check up um with your local vets or wherever your local vets are and um, because you never know there could always be that one thing that comes out of the blue but apart from that um i've had like i see i've had her five year not a single problem not of what i'm aware of but i'm thankful for that <laughs> really thankful fact number eight is that they like to relax just like me me and millie are a lazy duo aren't we millie we like to spend our sunday afternoons lying on the couch and just cuddled up watching some tv nothing wrong with that so uh, yeah they do have like medium energy levels so definitely make sure she gets two to three walks a day they don't have to be extremely long walks, but I like to give her a treat and go out hiking once a week, somewhere like four. And yeah, that's basically fact number eight. Fact number nine is they can get separation anxiety. Just make sure that you leave the TV on or the radio playing if you're going out and about without your dog. Um, they do miss you, so when, you, when I often return home, Millie's always there to jump up on us and make sure that she lets me know that she misses us. So yeah, that's fact number nine. They can get separation anxiety. Fact number ten is they often get confused with pit bulls. They are not pit bulls. There's been quite a few times where someone's came forward to me in public and asked about Millie if she was a pit bull. She's not a pit bull. Pit bulls are often bigger, stockier, and then more have more width to them. The head, the the chest. You can you can. I get that they look very similar, but a pit bull is another dog that has a bad reputation and such a lovely dogs too. Like we need to stop giving them bad reputations. We need to start like blaming it on the owners. It's not the dogs. But yeah, that's fact number ten. Goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this video. And anything else you want to say? Anything else you want to say? Because you kept leaving me on camera. You kept on walking away from me. But bye for now, and um, if you want to know anything else about Millie or Safis, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, suggest your next video down below too. Give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.